Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to use Surfshark VPN on iPhone. I'll be showing you every step from downloading the application to exploring all of the must know features. So if you have been looking for more privacy and freedom on your iPhone device, let's jump right in. And if you haven't already, you can go ahead and grab the absolute best Surfshark deal available by clicking the link in the description. You will find three main plans at three different commitments, one month, 12 months, or 24 months. So no matter what your budget is, you will find a plan that best suits it. And now let's go ahead and get started. So the very first step would be to click on the link in the description and then sign up for an account. You will need to sign up for an account as you will get your email and password credentials, which we will be using on the iPhone application. So once you've got your own account, you want to go ahead and open the app store on your iPhone. Tap the search tab and then write Surfshark VPN. Download the very first result that you get. It should look like this. And then open the application once it finishes downloading. So when the app opens, you will see these options. And of course, you want to tap on the existing user if you have signed up for an account and then enter your email and password that you've used when you subscribed. Now, when you log into the application, you will be asked to grant a few permissions to Surfshark. Such prompt would be like, allow Surfshark to add VPN configurations. Of course, you want to tap continue and then allow. This step will let the application manage your VPN connection securely. After that, you will see inside the application a big quick connect button right at the front or center. If you would like to, you can tap it and then Surfshark will automatically choose the fastest server nearby. Once connected, the app will show you a green status that reads protected and displays your new IP address. And just like that, your iPhone should now be safely tunneled through Surfshark's servers. The next option that we can find is the specific location option. So onto the locations tab right here, you'll be able to see a list of over 95 countries. You can scroll around or use the search bar at the top if you want to type any country name that you want, such as Canada or the UK or whatever, and then you tap on it to connect. If you like any one of these servers and you have found it to have a consistently good connection, then you can easily favorite that. You tap the star icon and then you will add it to a favorite or a bookmarked list. That way it will appear at the very top for quick access every time you return on the application. We also have the static IP servers option as you would get available right above the country's list. And this will give you the very same IP address every time that you connect, which is great for email logins or banking that flag frequent IP changes. And finally, we have the multi-hop or the double VPN option, which is also under the specialty servers section. And this one chains your traffic through two different countries for even extra privacy. This will slow down your VPN connection a little bit, but you will be getting even more privacy. Now, Surfshark's iOS version may also include a no borders in some regions, depending on your plans. If you have it, you want to tap it to automatically find the best servers for heavy censorship areas. If your VPN stops working in certain countries, no borders mode can help you bypass those blocks. And now let's go ahead and talk about some of the key VPN settings. So you want to navigate to the VPN settings for these must know options. The first one is the auto connect option as you can toggle this on to have Surfshark automatically start whenever you open the application or join untrusted Wi-Fi networks. This is great for public hotspots. We also have the kill switch as this is enabled by default. If your VPN drops, it will halt all of the internet traffic so your real IP never leaks. We also have a clean web option as you can turn this on to block any ads, trackers, and malware in Safari or other applications. It's basically like a built-in ad blocker for your whole phone. And then we got the protocol options as Surfshark auto selects the best protocol but you can also choose manually if you run into connection issues. The options would include WireGuard, which is the fastest, or OpenVPN and other protocols. Now back on the main screen, you can tap the alerts in the bottom menu, and then this feature would watch for data breaches involving your email or passwords. So if you want to enable this, you can ensure to have the two-factor authentication set up on your Surfshark account. You will find more instructions on how to set those up specifically for you in the application. Onto the alerts, you can choose what to monitor, so your email, credit card, or ID. And then for email, you can tap monitor email and then enter your address and tap activate. Finally, you want to check your inbox for a confirmation email from Surfshark and then tap monitor this email address. If for any reason your email shows up in any breaches, you will get a notification so you can change your passwords fast. 
Next up, in the settings and then the account, you can see how many devices are connected under your subscription. A great thing is that Surfshark allows unlimited devices on any of their plans, so feel free to install it on your iPhone, iPad, Mac, or any other devices and even share it with your family members. And finally, I want to quickly touch on the pricing. So once again, if you are liking all of these features and you want to try it out for yourself, then go ahead and navigate to the link in the description below this video. You can access surfshark.com and then sign up for a plan right here and then grab all of these features on your own iPhone or any other device. So starting with the Surfshark starter plan at $15.45 per month, the plan would include a VPN and the alternative ID. Now, as you can see, you would be paying a lot of money for the starter plan at no basically any features. But the great thing is that all of these plans would go down drastically if you opt in for the 12 month plan or the 24 month plans. So for example, the starter plan would go down from $15 per month all the way down to $3.19 per month paid annually and you would also get three extra months. The second plan Surfshark 1 would include the antivirus, the alerts and the search feature. And finally, the Surfshark One Plus would give you all of these plus the data removal with Incogni. You can also check each and every single one of these features under these plans onto the surfshark.com slash pricing website. So if you would like to save up to 87% on the first plan, then you can opt in for the two yearly plan for the absolute best deal at only $2 per month plus three extra months. So you would only have to pay $53 on your first 27 months and the great thing is that if you test this platform out for about 30 days and end up hating the service, then you would get their 30 day money back guarantee right here. And then use the VPN for a full month before getting all of your cash back. And that will be all in today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Let us know if you have found it to be helpful and informative to watch by giving us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos relating to this one.